Hello, good to see you. It is a rainy Tuesday afternoon, very cozy. That's why we've got Sati playing in the background. I figured today's a good time to make a video. So here we are, got my list of dot points that I wanna talk about. I can't write a script because whenever I'm reading from a script, it, I sound like a robot. Dot points for me. What I wanna talk about today is something that really always annoyed me about university and that is why do universities only teach content and not skills? I suppose in order to address this subject, we first need to talk about what education is. Education in my mind has always been about two things. The first one is freedom, you know, freedom from ignorance, more importantly, freedom from fear, fear of what you don't understand and what you don't know. So in that sense, education is a, is a way to combat that kind of um, stigma about the world, you know, to open your eyes, so to speak, broaden your mind. And the second thing that education is about is empowerment, right? I, in my mind, the two go together. Education is something that empowers people, makes them stronger characters, um, more independent, more capable of living and looking after both themselves and the people around them. I was actually talking to one of my students the other day and the idea that I kind of played around with um, in class is the idea of giving people permission to take full responsibility for their lives. If you think about it, that's kind of the essence of education. When you're a kid, you can't really take responsibility for your own life. When you're a kid, um, you have no inhibitions, you lack that kind of big picture perspective on what it is the world is about, what you wanna do. So that's why the adults step in and they're sort of like, okay, we're gonna take responsibility for your life and we're gonna tell you what to do. You know, you, you go to school, you study, you develop discipline and respect and all those things. But of course, this is only a secondary purpose of education. Because like I said, the primary purpose is always to empower and to liberate, right? So that eventually you can hand over the reins. You can be like, well, you're of an age where you can begin to tackle the big question in life. And I mean, I suppose the big question in life, and that's the question that everyone is faced with on a day-to-day -day basis, regardless of where you are, is what do you want to do with your life? And so at some stage, um, education ceases to be about here are the rules you must follow, here are the things you must do, but it sort of matures, right? And there is this recognition um, in the eyes of the educator and the educatee that you're ready, right? You are ready to tackle this question on your own. And you see, that's the problem because I feel like university degrees don't really empower people. In fact, I feel like universities do the opposite. They um, depower. Uh, people, I mean, I don't know if that's a word, but they sort of make people more dependent on the university system and the university structure. The more someone stays at university, the more they seem to depend on university. I feel like that, that might be why people sort of do extended degrees, even though they're not particularly passionate about what they're studying. And the reason people gr develop this dependency on university is because university doesn't hand over the reins. It doesn't come to that moment where they're like, you're ready, go out into the world and do what you were put on this world to do. No, what the universities say instead is, you're never ready. You've just finished your undergraduate degree, well, an honors degree will make you better. You just finished your honors, well, a master's will make you even better. And then they sort of just dangle this carrot on a stick and they just get you to go through the entire system because, and now this is admittedly to take a bit more of a cynical approach, but universities are businesses. And the purpose of a business is, well, I mean, the principle of good business is to keep your customers within your ecosystem. The more purchases that you can make your existing customers make, the better off your business is. They sell you one degree and then they wanna upsell you on the other. I mean, what does it benefit them to sort of tell you this is enough, you are knowledgeable enough, you are capable enough, you are independent enough, go out and do your thing, live your life. That's completely against um, the, the premise of growth. Personally, I feel like it's doing a lot of people a disservice because you see, really, most people, I believe, don't need a university degree to do what they really want to do. I have a hunch, I believe, that the reason why most people go to university is because the alternative to going to university is too scary to face. Because that question that I talked about at the beginning of the video, what do I do with my life? which is really the primary question for everyone, is a very 
difficult one to answer and a very, very scary one to face. But what we have to understand is this question is ever present and you are the only one who can answer it. And I suppose the, the misconception that is developed um, is that since from our earliest days, we are sort of led into that secondary subordinate education system, you know, where adults and teachers are taking responsibility for our lives. We develop this idea that that's how it will always be. We're always looking for someone to tell us, this is what life means. This is what you should be doing. Um, you're in the right place. And so we look at university just after we finished high school and we're sort of like, oh, you know, real life, the whole world, what do I do? Um, we look at universities and universities are like, come here, this is where you should be. This is what you should be doing. And as you go through our system and you spend money, we will shower you with praise and tell you that you're doing the right thing, you're advancing your career, you're on the right track. But you see, the thing is, that's an illusion. If you have the question, what do I do with my life after you finish high school? You're still gonna have that same question after you finish university. You will have spent three or four years ignoring or postponing the question. It's a kind of procrastination. You're never really too young to address the question of what you wanna do with your life because the question is omnipresent. It's always there. And having a university degree will not make that question easier for you to answer and will certainly not answer that question for you. At the end of the day, you don't need anyone's permission. You don't need a diploma. You don't need any qualification. It's your life. You own it. It belongs to you. Um, and only you can really decide what you want to do with it. So don't let the universities tell you otherwise. Very naughty, naughty, naughty universities. <laughs> so I suppose what I'll leave you with is this. The most important thing that you actually stand to lose is not money, because you can always make money back, right? The most important thing you stand to lose is time, because the period when people go to university is quite often the best period in their lives. Your late teens, early 20s, this is a period where the world is completely brimming with opportunities and possibilities. Anything you want to do, you can do. And even if you do fail, the, the lessons you learn along the way from doing, from, you know, as uh, Teddy Roosevelt says, being in the arena will be far greater than whatever you stand to gain from going to university for a degree. Of course, I have no intention of swaying your particular decision either way. I don't purport to give you personal advice about whether you should go or shouldn't. I just want you to be aware of all of the costs that are associated because you can trust the university not to tell you these things. Anyway, that's what makes me annoyed about universities in a nutshell. Well, a very rambly nutshell. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.